Hello and welcome back to the Tenkai Project! Masokishi, the Lord of Elemental, uh, Super Robot Tyson Gaiden. Now, what I'm probably going to do is considering that there are different paths I could have taken, I'm going to leave these right where they are except for the third one which is going to be my main... My third save file is going to be the main one I'm going to work on. But just in case if anybody should ask, well, what what would happen if I were to take the other routes? Yeah. There are reasons. So we're going to go back to... Episode 14 clear. Like so. Hmm. So... Let's see, we, we have our people right where we need them. As well as the arms. So, um, without forty ado, you, let's do. You. We must be getting close. I wonder why the temple will be underground. Yeah. You must kind of a scene in the dark. I know, right? That's why I said this is suspicious. You know, I've heard rumors about an underground temple. One dedicated to the evil god Volcris. Okay, now, don't feel like you should come through this remote place. Meow. And then it's like, natural. Meow. Episode 15, Temple of the Evil God. My, my. Have you become interested in the art of archaeology? I am sorry, but I do not think you are experienced enough to identify this kind of relic. You don't give me enough credit. I think this temple might be dedicated to the evil god Volcarus? How's that, huh? Oh, that is quite surprising. I did not think you would know that much. Looks like our hunch was right. I see that you've tricked me into confirming your theory. You did not need to do that. I would have answered if you had just asked. Uh, by the way, the two characters, Masaki Ando and Shusherikawa, are both members of um, Jam Project, so therefore that's totally not coincidental that when this came out, Jam Project was Jam Project was still kicking ass and taking names. Just, just to let you know. You're answering questions now. The answer is one. Why are you snooping around in a Volcrest temple, huh? As I said, I am merely studying what is left of it. Unfortunately, there is not much left worth the effort. Yeah, right. I ain't falling for that one. Good grief. There's nothing worse than a deaf man who will not listen. SHUT THE HELL UP! IT'S ALL BECAUSE YOU- Oh, right. Before I forget, I advise against moving any further in that direction. Oh uh, yeah? Then I'm just gonna do then I'm gonna do just that. See? Nothing happened. Um, Saki, why the hell did you do that? Whoa! What? This is what happens when you do not listen to friendly advice. The switch you have just pressed has activated an Anti-intruder trap. 
You reap what you sow. They shouldn't be much trouble for you. Meanwhile, I will take my time and have a look around. Clean like a fitter. Shut up! Let's get rid of them! I'll blast them all away with sight flash! I forgot to tell you, you can't use sight flash, man. Huh? Wait a second, it was fine! That puts a stable to use it when I spell, man. Come on, really? Jeez. I asked Wendy to take a look at it once we're back. Again, it. If you were to use Sight Flash in the last battle, more than once, you get a different mission. But yeah, we have to deal with these guys. Now most people would look at this as like the simpler of the Super Robot Tyson games because unlike the standard, this one doesn't have as many enemies you would see on a standard Super Robot Tyson game. Like two to three, two to three um, waves of enemies. No, you just see something like one encounter, bam. Okay, that's it. No, that's re that that really just is. Like, oh, hey, just one. Okay, that's it. If I hadn't done it already, is um, play some music straight from. Um, I have I have the live version of um, the theme song. Nepu Shipu Saibusta. So I might do that on um, Beat Hazard or. Or Melody is escape one of these days. much of this game as I can because, you know, apparently it is about yay parts long. When I looked at the, when I read the walkthrough of it, so there's about this many parts of the game, so this is like we're looking at the later Super Robot Tyson games, which they were stupidly long.
So that's what we're actually looking at. We're looking at, you know, the later Super Robot Tyson games. Past the original generation types. Because as I stated before, this is the first of the OG Saga games. Then came Original Generation for the for the Game Boy Advance, then later the PS2 as you know Original Generations. Then after that, then it became you know. Then after that, then it became, oh, you use this, oh, da, 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 da. And then, you know, the ATX and the SRX teams were introduced, and, you know, the Inspectors and, and the Divine Crusaders and all that. And you know what the funny thing is? I have not watched the anime. I know one one person in particular. What hound me? Are you ever going to watch this anime? Possibly. See, the thing is, I can play this normally, just, the only thing I'm do doing, just to, just as you can tell, just put in a money code. It's the same with Fantasy Star 3, I can play it normally, but I, I just don't see myself grinding for money. So all I basically did was just like, okay, raise my defense all the way up to where, it, you know, where to, you know, it, it can reach its max. I can still take damage, but not as like taking cheap hits. Yeah. I bold Henshin Akashika Basta I'll probably do after I'm done with um, this Tenkai project. Let's go back to um, Albert Odyssey. And not like I forgot, it's just, you know, everything going on so fast. On here, as well as real life. Just didn't want to miss out on what I usually do during, during March. But what I usually do during March just some type of SRW game. <laughs> if not an SRW game, I do something robot related. I already finished something robot related. And what's funny is, Really? I wanted to do Front Mission Evolve. 
I guess I'll have to wait until I upgrade my computer to do that. Couldn't run it because, you know, it's outdated. But that's still okay, I can still run most of what I can run. Akashiku Basta! The only time I will actually just say Akashic Buster. Learn a new special skill. Groovy. Good one. Congratulations. Oh, I know. I have almost finished with my research. But as I expected, there was not much worth the effort after all. Oh, yeah? Then I'm gonna go and check. Do we really need a repeat so soon, Masaki? I... It, well, I did find this jewel, but it has little relevance to my study, so it has no worth to me. I know it's re relevance, but ways of relevance. Re re relevance. Wow, that looks... that looks gorgeous! I'm sure you could get about 5,000 credits if you sold it. I have no need for money or jewels. You can have it if you want. Really? I think you're pretty cool in my book. What? Wow, love a jewel, huh? Well, then I shall take my leave. Someday, I'll catch you red-handed. You'll see. Shoes fall! Whenever he shows up, something bad always happens! You hate him so much, but I don't think he's done anything wrong. You're just saying that! I just found another way to gather funds and took it. Do you think I could just be bribed that easily? Yes. <clears throat> In any case, there's nothing here but an old temple. This was a complete waste of time. Let's go back and report to our fan. I see. So it was false information. At least we were able to confirm it. Good work, you two. You may go and rest. Hey, Wendy. So, can you fix Side Flash? Yes, I think I know what to fix now. From now on, you should be able to use it whenever you want. Alright, thanks! Oh, crap, Masaki. No. No, you may not do that. <laughs> so it's only safe to say, damn it, Masaki. <laughs> so what I think I should do is, uh, make sure to save. Like so. And yeah, I will continue playing. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stop here. And in the next part, we continue on with episode 16. Whatever that is. Stay tuned. More of the Tenkai Project. Muscle Kishin. The Lord of Elemental. Stay tuned for the next part. Thanks for watching.